to walk me through it to come back in. By rule, you can't actually get the save for a game you start, but you basically do. What are you thinking two on, one out, and tying runs and scoring position? Um, I know definitely going through my head, I was like, these girls have worked their butt off this entire game. Like, and I know working hard, like even like when I get pulled, like no matter what, I want any pitcher going in to do the best that they absolutely can. So coming in again, I was like, I want to fight for these girls. Everything I wanted to do was to get them back up into the up and get their at bats and just score more. I knew they weren't going to give up, so I was ready to put in as much as I could and let them take the rest of it when they go up to offense. Remember what the outpitch was to the Moody there? <laughs> As awkward as it is, like I with um, pitching, like you, they when they call it, I'm like, whatever you want, I got you. Like I have full faith and trust in the people pitch calling, so I just kind of what they want, do it. If it, no matter what the outcome is, I want to forget about that pitch and move on to the next because I don't want to dwell on it. it. Seemed like you were certainly able to live on that river, though, and that was a river that was consistently there today in terms of the zone, but that that was just really critical in those two at bats. Yes, and I. No, we've all struggled. Like I even struggled out there trying to find that river in the beginning, but thankfully being able to find it, I think that really helped. And I know having Val back there, she was helping me so much with making making pretty, making the pitches look pretty. And like if I did mess up, she was still still gonna be there to help frame and help me get more strikes. What was your mindset in that first inning? You give up those two home runs, you settled in. You know, like you said, you found the river, but it also seemed like you kind of dialed in your pitches and. and we're nibbling a little bit more instead of actually kind of leaving anything directly over. Um, my mindset starting the game, I was like, yeah. I just want a different outcome. I don't want to repeat yesterday. And I think this entire team, we all came back today. We we're not going to let what happened yesterday happen and roll into today. And so after those two hits, I think I give respect to those batters, like good job to them. But I was like, no more. Like I am going to do whatever I can to get these girls onto offense. Like no more runs are going by. Like I'm going to get these girls to get into this, um, into the offense. And that was like, they're going to make the ground balls. They're going to make the pot fly catches. Like I know behind me, they've got me for defense. So all I need to do is throw some strikes that they can make a little bit of contact on. And when you came back into the game, I could be projecting, but you're usually pretty affable, kind of smile on your face. It almost seemed like you had a scowl. I, again, I, not the greatest size, but you were really focused. Maybe it's the better. Is that, am I correct in that, that you were really focused coming back into the game, that same mentality, you weren't going to let it slip away? Yes, um, I try to keep it where like, yeah, we get an out, ha like happy, smiley, like good, but I want to stay focused. So I, <laughs> I always have that kind of face. So like even coming in, I was like, all right, this is enough. Like I wanted to have like, they're going to know that I am here to finish this. They can say like, oh, last in or last time she was in, I hit this off her. And I was like, you're not going to hit it again. Maybe just describe what it's like, you know, getting the start, you know, pitching the first four innings, getting taken out then getting put back in in that situation, kind of describe what that feeling is like, having to go back and kind of reset. Uh, getting the start, that was like, you know, like, let, like let's go, like, let's do something different today. Like, I, I love my pitching staff, and I just wanted to help them out today. I know they were working so hard yesterday and couldn't catch a break, so today I just was like, let's make something different happen. And... Coming out, uh, I have full faith in them no matter what, that I know they'll have my back. And I know coming back in, I was like, I have their back. Like, we're going to finish this no matter what. Coach Martin talked yesterday about how much of a grind mentally conference play is, and that it was going to be a challenge to bounce back and show you guys had that medal. In hindsight, I mean, you, you did it. How hard was it? Uh, definitely, like, no matter what, conference play is always going to be there. Like, there's always going to be something nipping at you. and. Today was the hitter sniffing at any pitches that they could get on, and I just knew that I needed to be like, whatever they do, I'm gonna throw my ball better. Or I'm gonna ha throw something Val can frame and get me a called strike on. I just wanted to work with Val, I wanted to work with my pitch calling, I wanted to work with my defense, and just make some way that our we could all collectively work together to get outs and get back into the dugout. Well, like overnight, though, mentally, was, was it that tough to bounce back, or were you guys really eager to, to get back out here today? I think definitely after the meeting that we had after the game yesterday, we were all like, okay, like we're going to hit the reset button coming in today, and we're going to, yes, that was a learning point. We're going to just let it go, and we're going to come back today and never again. 
never again let them do this to us or anyone else coming here again.